Hi, thanks for watching this WordJack video on how to create a birthday email blast to wish your customers a happy birthday on their actual birthday. MailChimp has a special feature for this as of course not everyone's birthday falls on the same day. You will need to have a list with a field dedicated to birthdays as you can see we have here on our example list. Without this field you would obviously not be able to successfully create a birthday campaign. Birthday campaigns are an automation feature in MailChimp and automation is only available on paid plans. If you don't have a big enough list for a paid plan yet, you can buy the most basic plan for $10. So we'll start by going to Automation and then selecting Add Automation. There are a lot of different automations available that you can use. We'll do a search for birthday and here we'll see a birthday automation we can use. So we'll select that and name it Birthday Bonus. Here's where we will select our list with the birthdates in it and click Next. Now MailChimp automatically creates three email events for you to use if you wanted to send an email the day before, day of, and the day after. In our case, we just want to send the one on the day of, so we'll just delete the day before and the day after templates. And now that we're only left with the day of birthday template, we'll go ahead and click design template. So here we will enter the basic email information like subject line, the from name, and from email address, and click next. And now you'll choose a layout for your email. We have a separate tutorial and design template layouts in MailChimp, that's why we are just going to fly through this part of the process. One thing you might want to do if your list contains your recipient's first name is to incorporate their name in the greeting. In the design section, select the text box where you'd like to enter the name. Add a comma and put the cursor where the name will go, and select first name from the Merge Tags dropdown. Make sure you apply the same formatting and click Save and Close. Now when we go to Preview, we'll enable the live merge tag info, and there you have it. John has been filled in automatically. If you ever want to save your work and return, you can click Save. And even if you log out and say exit without starting, when you log back in, you can return to your automation campaign and pick up right where you left off because you may not be able to put the whole campaign together in one shot. So once we've set up our email, checked out the preview mode and we're happy with that, we'll click save and continue. And here we'll make sure our timing or trigger is set to send on the day of birthday. And since that's all good, we'll click next. And now we're taken to a checklist where we can review before we start our workflow and we can check to make sure that it's all okay. We'll save and exit to the automation menu. Now when we click on our birthday bonus automation, we'll click next and then start the workflow. Start workflow again and there you go. This automation workflow has been started. If at any time you want to make changes or if you want to stop sending this campaign, you can go into the automation menu and click edit and then edit email. And here you can make any changes you'd like. When you're done, click save and continue, returning you to the workflow where you want to make sure you'll resume the campaign. And when we exit to the automation, we'll see that our mail icon is green, which means the automated birthday campaign workflow is active. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact your WordJack marketing manager.